Everything you've known about this omniverse is a lie. This is the omniverse. It is what we know, but what we know is not much. This is the story of a particular group of individuals within this omniverse whose remarkable power thrust them into a remarkable situation. This is the story of Francis of the Filth and the Chinchin War. We begin with the old ones. Pink Guy approaches Red Dick, who introduces his scantily clad friend Prometheus. They engage in a battle of rock, paper, scissors, but Pink Guy snatches victory quickly. Embarrassed by this, Red Dick orders Prometheus to attack and he wounds Pink Guy with a deadly trash can throw. Pink Guy, in a moment of desperation, summons Chin Chin, the Dark Lord, who comes out of the bushes like a fucking spastic with a watering can after being interrupted in the middle of watering his plants. He fights Prometheus but gets his ass handed to him by the trash can as well. This was the supposed end of the Dark Lord. So a lot of y'all were asking for a series video, so I'm gonna give you a series video. At 6,000 chromosomes, a man named Frank is in his shitty bedroom. He gives a chore and opens the closet, finding Pink Guy. Joke about sexuality metaphor here. He opens it again a number of times, finding a different character every time, until this particular person gives him news of the darkness approaching. Dark Lord is coming! Chin Chin? Chin Chin? Chin Chin's been dead for 6,000 chromosomes, there's no way he could be here. The Dark Lord is coming. Frank is alarmed and calls Chin Chin, and finally the Dark Lord appears crouched on the closet. Oh my gosh! He asks where is it, does not get a response that he wants. However, having all the worshippers that he does, he didn't need to do anything. He was appeased. Until that changed. Oh. Oh. The group of friends celebrates and cheers as Salamander Man plays the flute in slightly unorthodox ways. Safari Man then asks if Frank has made the sacrifice today. Frank panics and checks the chromosomes, finding nothing. Although he tries to reassure the group, he panics, and Chin Chin soon graces them with his presence, looming over the- uh, oh, he's on the fridge. Um, being in the room with them. He asks them where the sacrifices are, and Frank tries his best to appease and quell the anger he knows is coming. But Chin Chin asks if Frank remembers what happened 30,000 chromosomes ago, saying dying at the hand of Prometheus' trash can embarrassed him greatly and he demands Salamander Man to be taken as compensation. Frank disagrees, promising to double the sacrifice by tomorrow, but that's not enough. The Lemon enters the ring, and the top 10 anime crossover fight occurs. With Frank's side losing, Chin Chin shows some of the other dimensions and wonders aloud where he could take Salamander Man. Some of the dimensions are, as we can see, Spice Land, Hell, Pakistan, Asian, Fake Africa, and Jacksonville, Florida. Salamander Man is then unfortunately dragged into the closet and taken away. Frank, in desperation, exclaims that he is not powerful enough on his own to make the sacrifices that are needed to take Salamander Man back, and turns to the audience saying he will present the five best sacrifices from the community to Chin Chin, and this will bring back his friend. The question is, how can we come up with such a large sacrifice? That's it! I need you guys! Chin Chin will only give back Salamander Man if we give him a sacrifice that's big enough. And I don't have enough power to do it myself. I need everybody's help to get Salamander Man back. I need you guys to film yourself sacrificing something to the Dark Lord. It could be anything. I just need a, I just need you to, I just need you to sacrifice something to the Dark Lord. Merry 
Christmas. On the morning of the sacrifices, Frank wakes and senses the ominous tone in the air. It is the day that things will change. This is it. He wakes up on the morning of 20,000 chromosomes and smears spaghetti all over the bathroom like a fucking idiot. He then goes to the kitchen and he sees Chin Chin's henchman, Plastic Pinocchio, sitting on top of the fridge like a retard. An important conversation ensues. Can I ask you something? Why do you care about Salamander Man so much? You're quite powerful. It's not like you need him. Let me tell you something, Plastic Pinocchio. Nobody. And I mean nobody! Plays ass flute better than Salamander Man! He's got some ass flute that the world needs to hear! And I'm gonna get him back! You understand? So stay out of my way! Very well, very well. Any last words? Yeah! Suck a fat dick! Then, at 8000 chromosome AD, Frank, dressed in blue, and Red Dick, dressed in red, arrive at the Rock Paper Scissors Arena and do some weird shit with some weird guy that shits out lemons or whatever the shit that is. And they make their way to where Pink Guy is waiting for them. Frank tells Pink Guy to warn the civilians and Chin Chin soon arrives. Frank presents him with a USB containing the sacrifices, the best of the best, which Chin Chin is begrudgingly pleased with, until he asks Frank for his own sacrifice, which Frank does not have. In a desperate plea, he tells Salamander Man to play the flute, so that Chin Chin may see its beauty. Yes! He does, and they all get to go home. It's months later, and Frank is sitting in the bathroom talking about noise complaint. It is unfortunately revealed that everyone else has kicked him out of the house for being the noisiest one. He says he will find new friends outside, and off he goes. Is this how you find friends? 2,000 chromosomes later! Coming back with the new friends to parade them around. There's Day, Hershey Kisses, and this guy. They then leave for some reason. With everything seemingly back to normal, Salamander Man notices something odd about one of the new friends, discovering that it is in fact Chin Chin in disguise. However, this time they manage to get away. In the realm Pangaea 308.62 or Earth, Safari Man is looking for butter. He comes across Dade who is just doing things and asks if he wants to help on the quest for butter. They go on and when they find it, Dade does this. Frank in his house sits up again, waking with a start, and realizing that something is very wrong. Turns out, something is incredibly wrong. Frank goes to Realm, that, that one, finds the midget shaman in a bathtub asking him to help heal Dade. Armed with a pan of broccoli for some reason, they go to find Dade, who is in worse condition. Such a bad condition that Shaman cannot heal him. Enraged by this news, Frank attacks the Shaman. Doesn't really do anything. He then goes to the conference room and in desperation calls for Chin Chin, who tells him to go see the Dr. Sack, armed with henchmen. Dr. Sack? What kind of name is that? Like, is he just, is he Sack or what? This guy's actual PhD and shit, like his, his name, but his name is Dr. Sack. Hola! Oh, take, take a nice kid on there, yeah? Well, I guess it's worth a try. No, oh, take, take a nice kid on there. Why? Ah! I'm going to take a nice kid on there. I'm going to take a nice kid on there. What the fuck? Hola! Oh, no! Henchman? Now we're talking. What kind of henchman you got? <laughs> Dr. Sack unfortunately says that he also cannot do anything, and he pulls out a gun, saying that the broccoli that one of the henchmen is holding is scary, and telling them to put it down. They do, and even though they lost the broccoli, they do manage to escape before he does anything else. Frank goes back to his lab, 
Exhausted in all of his efforts and hopes, and not having a moment to rest, he gets a call from Chin Chin, warning him that a racist Santa is coming for Dade, and that being appears as soon as the call is over. A fight with him and one of the henchmen occurs, with Santa winning and just leaving. However, the clock all this time was still ticking for Dade, and while the others were searching for their cure, Pink Guy goes to visit the sick man, and time runs out. They already know. He's gone. But then, the anime hunt. Frank and his friend Pookie go hunting anime. Pookie is unfortunately killed again. Chin Chin then shows up, demanding sacrifices, which Frank does not have. The annual sacrifices are coming up, and with nothing to give, Frank runs off like an idiot. There is then a video of Frank and Red Dick hiding in the Nairobi desert in the Chin Chin Hazard Bunker 19. Chin Chin interrupts the video, saying that if he doesn't get the sacrifices one way or another, Frank will die. This will be the end. Frank travels to meet with Chin Chin, and offers a bag of the supposedly dankest memes, and yet Chin Chin demands Pink Eye instead. When Frank refuses to hand him over, Frank is banished to Realm Zero, the edge of the Omnibus, otherwise known as the Rice Fields. You can't take Pink Guy. he's been part of my clan, you can't take him. He's been with me for thousands of chromosomes, millions even. <sighs> That's not fair at all! Take Pookie instead! Look at him, he doesn't do shit! No! He wakes up in said fields, and begins his travel to find his friends once more. To find his way home, and defeat the Dark Lord. Our main man comes across a flute, but not just any flute. A flute from Salamander Man. Who knows where the lip of that flute has been. Filled with hope, Frank plays it, hearing the familiar call and running after it. We also learn that Pink Eye and Frank have spent thousands of chromosomes trying to get back home, but haven't gotten anywhere, and he now stands in Realm 88, Aqua Centauri, owned by Suncorp. He explains himself to Salamander Man who he has now met up with. They've done many things, but have finally found something that might just work. There's an infinitely old, gender fluid entity known as the gatekeeper who is interested in helping frank this entity tells frank that in order to get home he must get the coordinates to travel there and he must do this through the sense of smell simple right have pink guy make food and get frank to smell it to go home problem pink guy is a shit cook but not to worry red dick is a gourmet chef and as he is summoned from the sky he joins them to make sriracha shrimp from the toilet frank smells this and goes home only, why is he wearing those glasses? Why isn't he wearing his normal glasses? <laughs> why? You're an imposter. Imposter Frank starts making videos, and they're fun. Then, in Loser Reads Hate Comments 3, we get our Frank. He's on the train, in a completely different location from the room that we've seen so far, and we can see the rice fields go by, yet he is still planning on his return. Meanwhile, things in the fake Frank videos aren't going too well for him. In the video about vegans, he is attacked by the veggie cunt, who tells him that he knows his secret. I know your secret. You're not the real Frank. You're tripping, dog. You're tripping. <laughs> That's why you don't want the peace lords to find out! There will be a war. A war is coming. That is what is announced shortly after. Pink Guy is searching for Frank, and in the meantime collecting chromosomes to send to an unknown person helping to get Frank back. He goes to East Vegetation 6 and plays a song from his Pink Season album. He then is interrupted by the sounds of Chin Chin, and he runs away. Meanwhile, Frank is sending Salamander Man to try and find Pink Guy, but all Salamander Man can find is this guy, the Realm Scavenger Green Cunt. Interestingly enough, Pink Guy also bumps into Green Cunt, who remarks to Pink Guy that he is a man of great power. When Pink Guy plays the album, Green Cunt says that if this great power gets into the wrong hands, it will be terrible, and attempts to take the album. 
A fight ensues, and Pink Guy is about to be killed by Green Cunt when Backup, in a surprising form, arrive. It seems that Salamander Man and Pink Guy have finally met up. They exchange coordinates for where to meet up for when Chin Chin arrives, and they split up, with Salamander Man going to find Frank to let him know. Pink Guy wanders through the woods and finds these guys. They chase after him, resulting in a fight. Pink Guy summons Saint Nick, who fights and defeats them. The imposter appears shortly after, telling Pink Guy to come back to read hate comments for a new video. He then, in the Pimp My Wheelchair, does that. He, he does the thing in the title. Then. Pink Guy wakes up in the woods and finds Safari Man, who tells him Chin Chin has been farming chromosome from them because of the lack of sacrifices. Blood appears in the corner of his mouth and drips down his face as he falls over. Chin Chin appears and demands chromosomes from Pink Guy, who refuses, and gets banished to the Shadow Realm as a result, where he is cornered by the dark beings who try to convince him to stay. Meanwhile, in the fields of redemption, Chin Chin is confronted by the appearance of the real Frank. Real Frank has returned, with an extremely long and gay intro. They fight, and Chin Chin tries to flee through the portal but fails a few times before doing so, showing that his power is weakening. Meanwhile, in Realm 90, Fake Frank sets out to find Real Frank, and kill him. He calls upon Wheels, the wheelchair guy, who only agrees to help him if the imposter can win a basketball game against him. Which does not happen. Meanwhile, Real Frank seeks out a man called Young Upgrade. They go to the final battle in Jew Central. Well, well, well. We meet again. So this is the fake Frank everyone's been talking about. Chin Chin is our god. Ah, ah. Chin Chin paid me in chromosomes, that's why I did it. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, Listen, big guy, Chin Chin thinks he's on top. Live with the humans for a little bit more, because the war is coming soon. Chin Chin will do anything to get his hands on our chromosomes. He may not be a god, but he knows candidates. Very powerful candidates. The battle ends with the knowledge that Chin Chin would come back one day, and that he is insatiable, but for a short time, there is peace. In the final video on Frank's channel, Frank is again in trouble, sinking into the ground, maybe he has Link's disease, and Pink Guy asks what's wrong. Frank says there are things way darker in the Omniverse that they have no idea about, and Chin Chin is not a god that he claims to be. Chin Chin appears and is enraged by this statement. Frank hurriedly hands Pink Guy the book, Francis of the Filth, saying all the origins and secrets are in there, and he has to keep it safe. The Peace Lord Yodoran appears, and demands the chromosomes Chin Chin has taken away. When Chin Chin refuses to hand them over, the Peace Lord banishes him and Frank disappears. Pink Eye is told that Frank has also been banished, and that it is up to Pink Eye to keep the book safe, and that one day, Frank would be back. <laughs> get their hands on this. It's the only book that exists, that records our history, that records everything we've ever known in the Omniverse. It will unlock all the secrets. Don't let them have it. It's happening. Here we go. Mama, mama, mama. Franco. My child, 
Francis has been banished to a place far, far away. But he is powerful. He will be back. He has given you the most powerful book in the omniverse. Run. Run far, far away before it gets in the hands of evil. Si, senor. But Frank hasn't come back. As a lot of you know, Frank has been moved on. I miss these things, but I can't really blame the guy. However, that doesn't mean that the idea of Frank never came back. If you look around, and you've probably seen these already, you'll see many, many different versions of new Franks or new concepts of people trying out the format, and some of them are better than others, and they might not actually fill the void of what we really miss, but Frank because of him. It's just an everyday reminder of what he is, what he was, and the genre that he left behind. The idea of Frank is always here, and always will be, just look around, and you can see it. Smile, because it happened. I haven't read the book yet, and I know there's a lot of lore in it. If you want to see another part to this, I could read the book and do a thing on it, but I just wanted to cover the videos and the lore on those. I was watching some of the old ones the other day, and just wanted to do this. I didn't even really realize that it was entirely over at the time when I was watching them. And watching them back again, it was definitely an interesting experience. If you've made it this far and you liked it, try some of my Chris Chan stuff, and if you want something similar, let me know. But thank you for making it this far with me anyways. Long live Francis of the Filth. See ya.